Anna was moved on to Universal Credit from other benefits a few weeks ago, and she says that for her, the impact was devastating. They said you have to apply for Universal Credit, but you have to do it online, so they made me do it online and I applied for it. They said all the benefits are going to stop. Child benefit, child tax credit, income support, council tax, housing benefits, all going to stop until you get your next payment. And um, they've turned around and said, um, I have to wait between six weeks and three months before I get a payment. And so for the last two and a half weeks, you haven't no, had any nothing, money in at all? Nothing whatsoever. And how have, have things been for you in that time? Very, very difficult. Um, last weekend, my, um, we've had no food. My um, five-year-old's last food was school dinners. It, um, on a Saturday, we were walking down the street and she was searching in bins for food because she was starving. She was like ripping McDonald bags to see if there was any chips or anything on the floor. It, it was awful. Broke my heart. Sunday, there was no food. She was going to bed. Her stomach was rumbling. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry and she had no food Saturday, Sunday, went to school really, really hungry. You take her to bed and her, her tummy's rumbling and you're just giving her water but she wants food and you can't. I can't go to the shop and steal, it's awful. And I can't keep asking neighbours for food because I shouldn't have to live like this. That's awful. You know, I had to go to a food bank mm -hmm. to get some food. You know, without that, I would still be without food now. I don't know if I'm going to still have my house because I need to pay my rent. Council tax is due. I don't know. It's all, it's my worst nightmare. What do I do next? Do I beg on the street to get some milk and bread? I don't want to do that either. But it, it might come to the stage where I have to. I have to.